Hickok 45, I am dressed for it today. Got the old original 1886 for a big game hunt. So you know I'm in hog heaven. What's hog heaven anyway? <laughs> I might not want to be in hog heaven, but isn't that a beautiful gun? Yes, even though it's old, really old. It's uh, it's so old. Something interesting. So yeah, big game hunt. And it's a perfect time of the evening. I think I'm not a hunter, but I think a lot of people hunt early in the morning or late in the evening, don't they? Well, we're kind of late in the evening. And oh, look at that special ray of sun on the tank over there. <laughs> it makes me want to shoot it. It's like, you've got to shoot me. Sorry, guy, you're not part of the, uh, that almost looks spiritual or something, doesn't it? But we're not going to shoot the tank. We're going to, we, hey, how about some light on the ram or one of these pigs? I'm going to have enough trouble firing this antique at them. So I've got it loaded in the magazine and nothing in the chamber. Uh, but guess what? Before I can shoot, I'll have to do that. So let's start out with one on the, uh, the gong like we always do. If you're brand new, uh, you know, we have a, this is a special routine here. We ignore a lot of the targets. It's strictly animals. And there's about 22 of them, I think. We start with the gong and end with the gong. And we're just trying to get all the animals. If I have too much trouble, we'll have to let it go with that and send you home. And uh, I'll just cry. But I'm going to try to get them all. And I've got seven or eight rounds in this thing. Got some more right here to top it off with. And uh, let's put one on the gong. All right. Here we go. 405 grains of lead. Oh, uh, isn't that a nice sound? Now, it's not black powder, but it's a little smoky, huh? Uh, well, I guess we'll start, let's start on the left side on the bottom there. We always start on the right for some reason. <laughs> we'll move across. We'll miss from left to right. How's that? I think I went low. Yeah, I knew that was low. Come on, smoke, clear. All right. I see a turkey, I think, through the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> see one over there on the right, a piggy. I might have to move around here to get around the smoke. I thought I was a little low on that one. Boy, it's, a, it's a, a very still evening, as you can see. So gun smoke just hovers. Oh, maybe I'm gonna move up here. Actually, I, I either missed it or I shot a different one. Let's see where I'm going now on that thing. Okay. Maybe it's lying down and I just can't tell. Can you tell, John, is it lying down or on the right? Okay, sorry, folks. Uh, <laughs> it, it looks like it was still standing there with, uh, by the naked eye. All right, so I wasted a round. Actually, no round fired is wasted. All right, let's uh, move up a little higher there. Yeah. Guess what? We're empty. So I'm not actually blind. I know sometimes it probably appears uh, that way uh, when, when uh, I'm doing things like that. But you know, when you're naked eye through the smoke, perspiration and, and all that, uh, sometimes it's harder to see. For some reason, I wasn't blessed with the capability of zooming in like the camera does. <laughs> so I'm looking over those metal sights. Yeah, I can see it's lying down there. Usually when they, they're knocked over and they're lying down, they're, they're just flat and you can barely see them. But that one almost appears to be standing. Okay, I've got some on my waist here that I'll load from too. It's a beautiful firearm, isn't it? I mean, I'll try not to talk too much about it. I'm supposed to be uh, knocking animals over. But this was made in 1886. If you've not seen the other videos on this firearm, I'll try to remember to link to them. The first video, I think we even did a chapter two with it. Even a deer appeared in one of those, I think chapter two, but just a beautiful thing. It's a model 1886 and it was made in the year 1886. All right, that turkey there. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
getting in too big a hurry. Talking to you, not concentrating, right? Not focusing on the task at hand. Go up there and get that turkey on the right. <laughs> All right. I love it. I'm gonna move around a little bit, get away from the smoke. Turkey time. <laughs> this is fun. It really is. I guess you hunters could explain to everybody that this is really not the way it is, right? The animals don't tend to line up like this. And most of you probably do not hunt turkeys with a 4570, right? <laughs> that went low, I guess. Yeah. I usually go low or high or left or right. All right. Let's go over there on the left and pop a couple of pigs. <laughs> He's empty, but I've got ammo in my belt. I'm going to load like a real cowboy here. In fact, this is what the, the average cowboy wore in the 1880s. New Balance shoes, cargo shorts, Carhartt t-shirt, cowboy hat, and neckerchief. That was pretty much the dress, you know. The movie's got it all wrong. Most cowboy action shooters get it all wrong. They should be wearing what I'm wearing, right? <laughs> I just get in the mood to put my hat on sometimes if I've got a piece of history in my hands or even a reproduction of a piece of history. Because this is a butte. There's nothing in the chamber, of course. A hammer being cocked doesn't bother me. Shouldn't bother you, but uh, all right. This is wonderful. This is wonderful activity. I mean, what a way to spend the day with an 1886 firearm throwing 4570 slugs at animals across the hill. Let's get that pig in the middle. I'd probably do this even if you were not here. <laughs> you know that, don't you? Hey, that's everybody but the top row. All right. Check a little piggy out. Boom. Buffalo. Now these are cowboy loads. They're not 458 win mags. So hopefully they'll take over the buffaloes and ram. <laughs> Got those. These on the other side that are hard to knock over sometimes. All right, turkey. What a natural farm. It just feels good. All right, here's that buffalo who never wants to fall. No, that's a ram. Oh, it didn't fall for some reason. Guess you have to hit it. Come on, smoke. Get out of my line of fire there. There we go. All right, Mr. Bison. I'm going to try to hit you high. Maybe you'll fall. Yeah, that took him over. Is that everybody? Okay, it is. That one down there still almost looks like it's a, an animal standing. I'm going to have to put one round in to finish on the gong. Okay. That pleasant sound, what a way to end it. <laughs> so a big game hunt. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, videos that we do. It's one of my favorite uh, shooting adventures, I guess I should say, and we happen to record it, right? And that, that's the beauty of 
basically everything we do out here is just we're sort of just bringing the camera out. I know that's an exaggeration. As I've said before, John and I have just been shooting here for over 30 years. Uh, me over 30 and him over 25, I guess, or more. And uh, so we just started bringing a camera out and not drastically different, but you know, different and uh, shooting the same kinds of things we I've always shot, enjoying the same sorts of targets. And uh, that's, that's what uh, is so much fun about this really, because we're too dumb to put on an act. You know, we're just kind of doing what we do. So we really appreciate you coming by. And, and uh, if there's anybody that's really naive or gullible, those are not real animals over there. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. Okay, that could happen. We have deer wandering here pretty often, but no, that's not likely either, unless I'm aiming at them, right? Because uh, that just doesn't happen easily. So we appreciate you coming by. We appreciate you supporting all the people that support us. And uh, we're glad to be here. And we're really glad that you came by. And uh, I didn't miss too much. So hopefully you didn't fall asleep. Life is good. Hey, go along. Oh hey, just throwing a little frisbee here on the range. While you're here, I want to remind you to check us out in some other places on the internet and our friends over at Talon Grips. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter under Hickok45 and on Instagram under the real Hickok45 and John underscore Hickok45. Also go to bunkerbranding.com for our t-shirts, hats, patches, and stickers. So we appreciate, of course, the support from Talon Grips. Go to talongungrips.com and make all sorts of different textured grips for handguns and rifles. Uh, Dad's been using them for a lot of years. They do great work and we're happy to have them on board. So please check them out, talongungrips.com. And then also don't forget, we have videos on GunStreamer now. So if you're watching them over there, you probably already know about it, but if you're not, you might not. So maybe check that out, gunstreamer.com. And uh, hey, there's some more videos being recommended to you that you should probably be watching right now. So I'll let you go, thanks.